Uh, this is Jared Dees from TheReligionTeacher.com. Jeremiah, who was he in the Bible? Who was he in the Old Testament? Well, he was a major prophet. There's a book that bears his name that includes his messages, his teachings um, from the Lord. And we know, also know a little bit about his life from the Old Testament and who he was, what he did, what happened to him, and what happened especially to uh, the tribe, the kingdom of, of Judah, the southern kingdom, during his life. Well, first of all, he, it was rough for Jeremiah because the messages that he brought met a lot of opposition. And he spoke out against idolatry, which was the worship of other gods and worship of idols, not the one true God. False prophets were constantly opposing him and the messages that he had that were tough messages to hear for the people of Judah. And then also greedy priests who were stealing and, and who were um, make, getting money for themselves as opposed to serving the poor in Jerusalem and poor in the, the kingdom of, of Judah. And so that's the message that he had. And like I said, he, he met a lot of opposition for this difficult preaching. And as a result, he was imprisoned. So his life was really characterized as a preacher, a, a prophet preaching how to uh, follow the Lord and to oppose idolatry, to do not listen to false prophets. He was a writer with the help of his assistant to get his messages on paper and then be able to be spread and then ultimately passed down for the years to come that followed after his, his life. So the prophecies that he was, the messages he was hearing from the Lord, being given from the Lord, were also put down on paper. And so even though he was uh, at first resistant to be able to be the preacher, be the prophet, you know, the, the Lord assured him that he had a message that he was going to speak through him. He was going to give him the words. And thankfully those words got down on paper and to become the messages that we have today that really do recognize, recognize how we can be closer to the Lord. But sadly, he was put in prison, um, especially for his warnings about the Babylonians who were going to come and conquer the southern kingdom, the Jerusalem. And sadly, that prophecy came true. And the people of Judah were, the kingdom of Judah were, was conquered. And the people were, went into exile, the Babylonian exile. Um, Jer Jeremiah was freed after the Babylonians conquered Jerusalem. He was freed and he ultimately decided to go to Egypt where he would um, live out the rest of, of his days. And so the key message, of course, of the time is pre preaching and speaking out against the um, corruption of the time. But today, as we look back upon these words, you can see you know, what's going to come out of this exile, what's going to come out of this sad events that, of the people of Judah being passed out, or pass, cast out of their home, or cast out of the Holy Land. Well, Jeremiah has a message uh, talking about the new covenant, the covenant in which God is going to write the law on our hearts. And that is the covenant that we recognize in Jesus Christ, who was, is the Messiah, who's going to establish the kingdom, not of this world, and the Holy Spirit, is going to be given, the advocate, to write that law on our, our hearts. So that's Jeremiah in the Old Testament. And his messages, thankfully, being been, been written down, uh, that prophecies from the Lord, the word of the Lord, can be passed on and really uh, uh, help us to understand what Jesus came to do and who we are today as, as God's people. Go make disciples. God bless.